Hey guys, um, today I am in a different spot in my apartment. I'm also doing something completely different as far as makeup goes. I wanted to sit down and do a little bit of vacation makeup, even though I'm not on vacation and I don't really have any vacations planned. Um, and I already live in Florida, so it's not really like that big of a deal. This is kind of like vacation anyway. Um, I have a couple products I wanna try that are different than my norm. So I tend to go very full coverage matte face because I do have oily skin and I sweat a lot. But, um, I kind of want to try something glowy and just see how I like it. And when I think of glowy makeup, I think of like bronze goddess um, vacation makeup. So that's what we're going to go for today. And I have a couple products I want to try out. Um, if you see my little band-aid, it's from my malicious cat um, who was trying to get at me. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and get started. I already prepped my skin with the Honest Beauty Hydrogel Cream, which I've really been liking. I got mine actually from... TJ Maxx, I believe, but I really like the, the formula of it. It starts a little bit thicker and then kind of really um, melts into the skin, almost like a lightweight like gel oil feel. Anyway, um, I'm going to start with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Perfector 4-in-1 Glow Makeup. Okay, now that I've spun this about a bajillion times, um, I'm going to go ahead and apply it. People say that this is a dupe for Charlotte Tilbury um, flawless filter I want to say um, as far as like a okay that looks a little dark but we'll see um, kind of like an under foundation glowy primer situation at least I'm thinking that's what it's gonna be like okay so now that that's on I want to blend it out with uh, we'll go with what kind of brush more of like a duo fiber brush. This is a Clinique brush that I got back when I worked there. You know the feeling when you're like on vacation, you've been out in the sun all day and you're a little bit tan, maybe a little bit burnt if you're like me, and you go back to your hotel or wherever you're staying and you're getting ready for dinner. That's the best feeling. And I was like, you know what? I wanna recreate that feeling in an everyday sense. So that definitely gave some glow to my skin. We'll see kind of how it does with a foundation on top. I am using the LA Girl Tinted Foundation. I'm finding that the older I get, now that I'm 27, um, I'm not liking the full coverage, thick looking makeup. I would rather try some things that are a little more lightweight, um, which is so foreign to me. So that's why I'm kind of in a a transition period as far as my makeup goes. I do feel like this is evening out my skin tone a little bit. Um, obviously not like super red blemishes or anything like that, which I don't have a ton, but I do have a couple, but I'll probably just either leave them or maybe go in with a little bit of concealer. That's how we're looking so far. I do like it. It's making me look a little more like bright and, ooh, I like that glow, yeah. So I like that so far. I will go in with just a tiny bit of concealer. I'm gonna use the NYX, um, let's see, Bear With Me Serum Concealer. I've really been liking this. I just take like a pump on the back of my hand, which is probably too much, honestly. And I'm gonna take it on a denser brush, a little bit under the eyes. This is probably enough for both eyes, honestly. And I'm doing face first today because I don't really think I'm going to do much on my eyes. Now I think I'm going to go in with a powder um, just to set under my eyes and maybe a little bit on my chin. This is the Halo Glow um, setting powder from e.l.f. and it's a light pink color. It's newer to me so I will be trying it for the first time. Let's see how it works. I got the light pink color because I thought it would be nice and brightening under the eyes. And I am using a sponge. Go ahead and set the lids too, just so nothing creases. Let's see how it looks on the other eye. I don't wanna to take too much of the glow away. That's why I'm being a little sparing with that, even though that's probably more than I should have done. 
anyway <laughs> now i'm gonna go in with a bronzing palette this one is bronze brilliance it is by w7 you can get them on or at five below um i got it yesterday to try and i don't know about you but when i am on vacation i want to be bronzed and this palette is pretty perfect for that it comes with one kind of medium um matte color and then three different highlights that you could probably honestly mix into i hate doing that part of my bronzer because i always mess my hair up um you could mix them into the bronzer to give a little bit more sheen if you wanted to fix my hair now so yeah it's really pretty and it's cheap it was like a five dollar palette maybe even less I don't exactly remember it may have been like three or four dollars you know how five below is sometimes things are less but for the most part I feel like things are five dollars there I want to go in with a putty blush this is a new color to me um, in Tahiti I believe let's see I want to say I got it in Tahiti yes so I already have Bora Bora which is a pretty bright pink but this one is a little bit more of like a reddish subdued color. Um, so I'm gonna get quite a bit of this on my brush and then kind of stamp it off on the back of my hand before we go in with it. That's a pretty color. I love blush when I have a tan too, I feel like, and I don't have a tan right now, but I'm kind of faking it. Um, I just think it kind of brings life to the face. Okay, I changed the angle just a little bit so you could see a little better, not so much shadow. This is what we're looking like right now. Um, I am gonna go in and do my eyebrows real quick. I've been using a combination that I really like, which is the Huda Beauty Balm Brows in light brown. I only got this because it was on sale. I've been using the NYX Thick It Stick It Brow Gel, I guess. It's got some fibers to it um, and some tint for sure. Um, but I've been using this to keep my brows in place and really liking it. And I don't remember exactly which color I have. I'll have to look. I have it in cool ash brown. So brows are done, like how that looks. Now I'm gonna go on to eyeshadow. This is the uh, ColourPop Color Sticks in the shade Jump In. They say it's like a multi-use eye crayon. Um, I just really liked the kind of creamy, browny pink color. So we're gonna try this on the lids and see if we could do like almost a one shadow look with it which would be super easy for vacation and super convenient because it's literally tiny so if you could get a whole eyeshadow look out of just this one product that would be fantastic and they did have some shimmery ones this is more of just a creamy matte one um, with no shimmer so if you wanted to mix them i would think they'd probably mix pretty well i'm just gonna kind of tap out the edges of that and i like how it just gives a shadow to the eye it doesn't even really have a super defined color because it's in between that like rosy brown um almost mauve color so i really like this i could see myself trying more of these because i seem to like the formula I feel like that's gonna be my like one and done thing for the summer I do want to add maybe a tiny bit of shimmer on the lid um, just to give it some dimensions I'm gonna use the wet n wild color icon um, 
the Walking on Eggshells palette. Tell me if I'm the only one that used to love Walking on Eggshells from Wet n Wild when it used to be just the three pan um, palette. And now they've expanded it to one of their um, five pans. But this is still one of the best palettes for every day. And honestly, that's what I would wear on vacation anyway, is something neutral, unless I'm doing like a really crazy planned look. I want something reliable. I want something I know looks good. And I love, I love how soft that looks. So that's gonna be a combo I will absolutely uh, re-wear. Before I do my mascara, actually, I'm going to set my face with D Slick um, from Urban Decay. I'm getting very low on this. And then the coolest gadget I found at Five Below is this little face fan. And it has like three settings, so you can go really, it can go pretty high. and it comes with a little stand that you can sit it on your desk you know if you're bougie like me okay lower lashes I'm gonna go in with Mac um, extended play giga black lash because it's a small wand and I like how it separates and lengthens my lower lashes And then upper lashes, I will use Lash Princess in the Sculpted Volume. Okay, lashes are done. Finally, it is time for lips. And I'm kind of torn if I want to go nude or if I want to go Okay, I'm gonna go in with a lip liner. This is LA Girl Ultimate Lip in Nonstop Nude. It is a retractable lip liner, which I like because I don't have time to sharpen anything. Uh, so we're just gonna line with this. Then I'm gonna go in with the Color Icon by Wet n Wild Lip Gloss. This is in Aquarius, so it must have been like a Zodiac collection. That feels really nice on the lips. So, I think we are done. So I'm gonna move the camera slightly this way so you can see a little more natural light, what we're looking at. Very glowy, very not how I normally do makeup, but I don't hate it. Like I like that you can kind of see some of my skin um, discoloration and texture and all of that through the makeup because then it doesn't look like I'm caked up with a ton of stuff but it still looks pulled together. I love the eyes. I will probably keep using that combination of the color stick from ColourPop and then the Wet n Wild. Uh, by the way the, sh the shade I use on my eyes is the middle one here. Um, 
on uh, the walking on eggshells. And then, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with everything. Honestly, I will see how things, you know, wear throughout the day. But other than that, I um, hope you guys liked the video and maybe I'll come back and do some more vacation inspired makeup and I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.